So their reaction to when I decided was, first my mom was like, man, that's, it's going to be cold. You're not going to survive the winters. And I do believe them because <laughs> um, I hate the cold. My house is like 70 degrees all day. And whenever I go, like whenever I'm in someone else's house, when they're blasting like uh, air con, which is like 70 degrees or like below, I'm freezing. So that's what they worried about first. And good thing about Central Connecticut was it's not as expensive as um, other schools. Maybe a private school like Santa Clara is like 70K which is very, very expensive. But luckily Central Connecticut was half of that and I brought it down with a little bit of scholarship too. So um, they, they, were, they were happy. <laughs> I guess they were happy, they were glad. Um, I decided because uh, as a senior, you get that pressure where everyone, your family friends, your mom's friends, your teachers, your friends, uh, coaches, everyone's just always asking, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? And it was I, I was happy to decide finally. And they were they were happy because especially my dad, he wanted to go to New York one time. So Connecticut's near New York. So I guess they're, everyone was happy, but they're just worried about the weather. <laughs> um, my mom and dad, I, they're a big factor into my success. And without them, um, none of this would have happened. My parents, since I was second grade, um, they actually helped me become more independent. They would, they would uh, ask my family members if I could stay in Japan and uh, live with them over the summer and go to school there and play soccer there. And they would set me up for success. They would make me independent, make me learn how to do things on my own. And then uh, my dad and my, they would always support me. They, they would never like say no. And for example, all my trials, I was 14, 15, going to the mainland on my own, or not on my own. That time, my dad would fly out with me. Um, he would, this would be like, I would get a, a week's notice, two weeks notice, and then my dad would just drop everything, drop his work, and he would sacrifice his time and his effort and his money, because no, 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 15 year old has enough money to go to the States. And he would sacrifice a lot for me and uh, let me go out and uh, do my dream, you know? And uh, without them, none of this would have happened and I would like to thank them so much because um, they're also the reason why I, I keep practicing and I keep doing my best because I want to succeed for them because they've done a lot for me to to let me keep playing soccer, to let me, because my, my dream could have ended when I was 13, if my dad didn't want to drop me off to national team practice, like how he did uh, for the academy. He, he could have just said, no, um, I cannot drop you to practice every night uh, at 7 p.m. and drop you home at nine. Um, but he did it, he did it when I was 13, when I was 14, when I was 15, till I could drive, when till I was 16, he, he did it. He picked me up, dropped me off from seven to nine. He filmed my games. He uh, mentored me how to send an email, how to talk to people. He did all these little things that's helped me. And without them, I, I really couldn't do any of this. And I'd like to thank them so much. Thank you. And I uh, love you, mom and dad.